When you walk into a restaurant, most likely the food is the only thing you're really thinking about. Things that you're normally aware of goes right out the window and you let your guard down waiting to be spoiled by your food and your server, if you have a good one that is. Restaurant owners know this and everything in the restaurant is designed to make a profit off of you, which some of you might say, well that's fine because it's a business after all, right? But what happens if the restaurant is intentionally scamming you into forking over your hard earned money as much as possible for something that wasn't even made clear or even food that really wasn't what it claims to be? Well in this video, we're going to cover the 5 ways restaurants try to scam you so hold on to your wallet and stick around to the end of the video to make sure you're not falling for these scams. Last thing we want is for you to walk out with a less than full stomach but an even emptier wallet. But first, give the videos a thumbs up to support us on the YouTube algorithm. We will be honest with you, the more likes, the more chances YouTube will push our video. So if you want to support us, click like. Share this video with someone that likes to dine out at restaurants when we all know one of these. Beachfront restaurant? They ordered a light lunch, two crab legs, two mojitos, and a bottle of water. She was amazed to see she was being charged 598 euros or about $640. So how much would the bill be here in the US? Well, I went to a Red Lobster here in Times Square and ordered practically the same thing Brenda did. Two orders of crab legs and two mojitos. The bill, $60. Number one, is that actually the steak you ordered? Perhaps one of the biggest scams you will encounter in the restaurant are the substitutions of the steak. Americans love their beef and whenever there's a high demand for something that commands a higher price tag, it is susceptible to fraud. For instance, you might think you're ordering a top quality steak but end up being served a lower quality cut of meat while the restaurant takes a prime cut out of your wallet. They're using meat glue. It's a way to cut costs but we're asking at what risk? It's white, powdery, and holding one of these two steaks together. Transglutaminase, also known as Activa or meat glue. The powder can bind proteins together and it's used in some restaurant kitchens. Meat glue stretches meat supply, saves money, and we found the stick part of the food industry for decades. Beef is expensive nowadays and in order to cut food costs and maximize profits, shady restaurants have all sorts of tricks up their sleeves to scam customers. Now listen to this, a trade secret is to apply butter on a cheaper quality of beef. This will make it seem like the steak is oozing with natural rich juices that you will get with a high quality cut of beef. MSG might be used to disguise the toughness of the meat making it more tender. Older cuts of steak may also be intentionally mislabeled, dry aged and commands a higher price tag. We covered other steak frauds in this video where restaurants have been found to apply transglutaminase, also known as meat glue to combine cheaper quality stew meat to turn it into steak and also the biggest scam of them all, the Kobe beef fraud which we also covered in this video. So make sure to watch them both as it provides a lot of value and don't get scammed. Kobe is listed on the menu from 175 to 350 bucks depending on the size. This is the Kobe steak. But once again, this is not authentic Kobe beef according to the Kobe Beef Association. I spoke with the owner, Mark Sherry. Why are you calling something on your menu Kobe when it's not Kobe beef? Well, it's you're getting hung up on what the name is. Aren't you, aren't you misleading your customers? No, absolutely not. Number two, fish substitutions. The same mislabeling fraud that happens with steak can also apply to the fish you order at a restaurant. Dishonest restaurants can use cheaper substitutes that are very similar to pass off as a real thing. Meanwhile, charging top dollar for something you didn't even receive. Imagine ordering an expensive white fish to only be duped by being served a cheaper tilapia or farm fish from China. Seafood lovers out there, how do you know you're really getting the fish you ask for? You order red snapper, but you're served tilapia. Or you buy grouper and you're really given king mackerel. If you sit down at a restaurant and order one species of fish, but are served something completely different. That is basically what I would consider downright theft. Here in the U.S., nearly 30% of seafood is mislabeled. Last year, a Santa Monica restaurant owner was fined for selling whale meat as fatty tuna. According to a study by Oceana, fishes at restaurants were discovered to be mislabeled 38% of the time compared to what was being advertised on the menu. 
Expensive fish such as red snapper and sea bass were amongst the top fishes to be mislabeled. Every three businesses visited sold at least one item not labeled correctly. The biggest offenders, snapper and sea bass, with 42% and 55% of the samples found to be fraudulent. The consumer thinks that they're getting a high-priced fish and instead they're getting the cheaper alternative when they um, are being ripped off. And it gets even worse. Sushi lovers, pay attention. The Oceana study also found that the fish served in sushi restaurants to be mislabeled at an unbelievable 74% of the time. The most common fraud at sushi venues were the sushi that claimed to be tuna were actually being substituted by escalar, a cheaper white fish that was passed off as white tuna to unsuspecting customers. The Oceana study found that a staggering 84% of the white tuna were actually escalar. To add further insult to the scam, Escalar is an oily fish that has also been found to cause digestive issues such as diarrhea and nausea. Imagine being scammed for just to be sitting on the toilet for the rest of the night. Popping white tuna for Escalar isn't just deceptive, it can be dangerous. It's actually a type of fish that carries a natural toxin that's indigestible. They call it the Exlax fish and it has sent people to the hospital around the world in, in numerous outbreaks. Now don't even get us started on the health factors being served fish that might not be healthy to consume according to the FDA, do not eat. Number three, tipping on tax. We are a tipping culture and while it's essentially the take home salary of the server, it can become a burden on customers who are already forking over a lot of money on overpriced foods and drinks. In major cities like New York City for instance, the standard tip can be up to 20 to 22% of the total bill. Have you ever noticed that some restaurants leave a tip percent guide on the bottom of the check for customers ranging anywhere from 15 to 22 percent for whichever amount you choose to tip? While it may initially appear to be convenient for the customer who don't have to do the math, you need to listen to this. Some restaurants have incorporated the tip amount to also include the sales tax. So let's say for instance you consumed $100 worth of food. Now instead of paying the 15 percent on the $100 food you consumed only, the pre-tip guide they provide might also include the $100 along with the sales tax on top of that. So you might end up tipping on the food and tax, which is spending more money than you need to. It's already bad enough that we had to pay sales tax. I mean, don't we pay enough income taxes on our salary, but have to tip on the tax is a bit too much in my book. Unless of course you're okay on tipping on tax, but then you have to make sure to do the math yourself. It's commonly understood that restaurant servers rely on tips to make their expected income. You may even see a suggested tip amount. But what Cody Winchester and her friends saw in the receipt at Big League Brews in Taylor this week was jaw-dropping. It's insane. It's insane. I mean, we seriously could not even believe it. The first suggested tip was 99%. I've never seen anything like that before. After the 99% was 50% and then 29%. Number four, daily specials. The restaurant might be pushing this item as the special of the day can be the very thing that the chef in the kitchen is trying to get rid of. It might not be the freshest food on the menu and it could be the food that's about to expire. It can also simply be the food that isn't just that popular and customers are not ordering it and the chef needs to move it from inventory and not let it go to wastage. What's even worse is when the deli specials can sometimes be more expensive and the very food they are trying to get rid of. Hey, it's so okay, mm. It's a dish of dams. You know, this dish is right up my alley. It is beautiful. It is an homage to Italy's cucina bianca. Number five, the portion scam. This is such a common practice at restaurants that it even has its own industry jargon name known as bracketing. Ever see on the menu the same dishes offered in two different sizes? Normally it will be a small portion or a large portion to choose from. Now here is where the tricks the restaurant uses. They know the customers will likely opt for the smaller size since the price is more appealing, when in reality, that's exactly the portion the restaurant wants to sell. Does it cost you one pound? No, no. Each. Each. Each prawn is one pound? Yeah, a box cost me 70 quid. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I go to raise the prices to make sure that we make a profit. The lower price means they can sell more of that without having to use too much food for the smaller portions, which lowers the food usage and the food costs and allows the restaurants to sell more of the small portions while widening their profit margins. Best thing to do is to ask the server if they have a sample plate of the different sizes. Hope you found value in this video. On your next trip to a restaurant, you will be more aware and mindful of what you're ordering and eating now since you have the knowledge of industry secrets. 
Share this video with other food lovers, subscribe, and stay informed. Genius Tomato out.